Hi Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to show you how you can disable or completely remove page titles while you're working with Elementor Hello Theme and Elementor itself. Remember one thing, Elementor Hello Theme is built for those for who have Elementor Pro installed because it's pretty much a blank theme. It's built for those who want a blank canvas to start working on and they can completely utilize the power of Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, do not use a Hello Theme because you'll run into a lot of problems. But there's one thing to note while working with Hello Theme. So whenever you're creating a new page, post, or a template, you see this. This ugly title pops up when you create a new template. Well, how do you remove it or disable it whenever you're creating a new template? Is there a permanent solution to this? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. So what's the fix for this ugly title problem? Well. You can click on the settings cog whenever you're working with a new template. You can obviously use this option to hide the title temporary solution for that particular page. But let's discuss why this thing pops up in the first place, right? Why do you even get this thing? And I want you to understand Elementor clearly. And if you understand Elementor clearly and how Elementor Pro works, you'll know the solution of this problem. So what happens when you create a new page post or a template? Let's click on the settings cog again. So when you're creating a new page post or a template, you're essentially defining or inheriting the page layout from your theme. That's what it says. So when the option default is selected, it'll get the layout defined for that page from your theme. And that's where Elementor Pro comes into the place, right? You build things that you build with your theme. And that's the reason why it's called theme builder, right? So you build the parts of your theme that usually would require your theme, but with Elementor Pro, you do it using the visual interface. So here, when you create a new page, the design is inherited from the theme. In our case, the design is inherited from Hello Theme. Hello Theme is a pretty blank canvas, so it's basically inheriting the page title and nothing else. So that's the reason why this thing pops up in the first place. Also, another fix for this would be to change the layout from default to canvas or to full width. When you select full width, it'll keep your header and footer intact and then it'll let you work with Elementor content. So between your header and footer, whatever you add can be right within the header and footer. And if you select canvas, it'll disable header and footer. It can be from your theme or from Elementor Pro itself. So it'll disable everything else except the content itself that you add from Elementor interface. So these two options can also be a fix for it. But the actual fix is to correct the page layout. So when you're defining or when you're uh, adding or creating a new page, the layout comes from your theme. You go to your theme builder, you just define a single page template. Let's select page here. And it's the same for single post, comparison, review, videos, all the custom post types. I'll just select single page here and I'll say title correction. I'll just call this title correction. I won't add any layout. And one more thing to note here is that when you're building templates with Elementor Pro's theme builders, you're defining layout for content that comes later dynamically from the user. So you enter the content from Gutenberg and all the content will be populated dynamically when you create a new page, post, or custom post type. On the other hand, when you're creating actual templates, such as page templates, section templates, templates that you can create with the free version of Elementor, you're creating the content itself, but not the layout. With Theme Builder, you're just defining the layout so that the content com can come and fill in within the layout that you define. And with other sections, pages, and other types of templates, you're actually adding the actual content. Hopefully that clarifies the thing. So I'll just select a blank canvas for a single page. So like I said, Elementor Pros, I'll just remove this. I'll just remove uh, this thing. Like I said, Elementor Pros layout just defines the layout for the content that comes dynamically later. So essentially this will be the design that will be inherited when you create a new page. That's what single page template means. Here we don't have anything and just to indicate that this is overriding theme style, I'll just drag in an icon. So I'll just drag in an icon over here and this star, I'll publish it and conditions, I'll add all singular. So whenever you create a new page, post or post type of any type, it can even be a custom post type. This will be the design that will be applied. Just for simplicity, you can also choose different layouts for pages, posts and custom post types. So watch what happens when I click on the settings cog and I'll update this design. I'll just refresh this. Now that we've defined a template for our singular templates, so it'll inherit the templates or the design from Elementor Pro. It says post content was not added. Let's correct that. So within this post content is a must. I'll just put it right there. 
I'll update this design. Now I'll refresh it again. And you can see that even though we selected the default layout, it inherits the design from our Elementor Pro's template because that's what theme builder templates usually do. They override themes templates that you define in Elementor. So when you build a custom header, essentially Elementor Pro's custom header is overriding your themes header. Same thing with footer, same thing with a single page layout design, single post layout design. You can also create sidebars and stuff like that. So that's what Elementor Pro's theme builder does. You can see the star that we defined in here. And now the title is gone. Even though we've selected the default layout, the title is gone because Elementor Pro's singular layout is actually overriding your themes layout and that will remove the title. So that's where the star comes from. And when you're working with Elementor Hello theme, make sure you define a singular layout or singular templates for all your post types such as pages, posts and custom post types. So using your theme builder, you can define a different content or different layout for pages, for posts, for custom post types and for even templates. But usually you can simply have this uh, easy design or this correction design for all singular layouts. You click on this, set the display conditions to all singular. You can obviously override this or you can add conditions to exclude this design when you create an actual layout for posts, pages and so on. But Universally, you can have this for all singular designs so that it will remove all the title. Obviously, the star is only for reference. You just need to put post content within here. Post content widget is a must and whatever page you create, I think it's uh, inheriting or previewing my login page. It can be a different page. You can change the preview to a different page. As you can see, it's showing my login page. Let's preview it with my home page. And this is how my home page would look like when I apply this design. So that's a quick fix. No need to write CSS code, no need to add any functions or any child themes required. Whenever you're working with Elementor Pro, just define a correction template for all your post types. So you define or create a single page template and then set the display conditions to all singular and make sure that design won't have that ugly title and that will remove the ugly title when you even choose default. You can obviously remove it by choosing Elementor full width and canvas. Hopefully that made it clear to you now when I refresh this, I see nothing but the post content itself and the star is gone. The star is just for the reference, just to show that the design is being inherited from Elementor. So that's how Elementor Hello Theme works. Again, if you have Elementor Pro, use Hello Theme, else it's pretty much useless. It's just a starter blank theme. It doesn't even have a proper style sheet and that's intentional because they want you to design everything from the scratch. And even if you want to add your own custom CSS, you don't have to override or use important tags because hello is pretty blank theme. That's it for now. Hopefully this helped you understand how to remove that ugly title and things, how things work with Elementor Pro Theme Builder. We'll be discussing more about Elementor Pro Theme Builder in the upcoming videos. Stay tuned for that. That's it for now. See ya.